news is all about questions about Onamdi Kano, the negotiation and co. Please do well to put your comment in the comment section. Why would Buari, not on political oligarchs, negotiate with Onamdi Kano? Why? Recall that some politicians and some lawyers have told the president to negotiate to dialogue with Onamdi Kano the way a dialogue with the bandits, the kidnappers. That it should give Onamdi Kano the hyper people, the chance to open up the, whatever they want, for them to say whatever they have to say. The agitators agitating for Biafra states. But the question is saying, why will Buhari, Northern political oligarchs, negotiate with Onamdi Kano? Why? You can put your comments in the comment section. Unamdi Kanu should negotiate Buhari should negotiate with Unamdi Kanu for peace to win in the country and in the southeast particularly. The noises and destruction which are done by the hyper people and acts that Kanu be brought to court. Now that Unamdi Kanu has been brought to court, what is the next step? The federal government who are confused on the next step. They don't know what to do, whether to release him or to grant him bail or to send him to prison. During his last trial, Kanu was not released. He was not granted bail and he was not sent to prison. Why? Why is our federal government still confused on what to do about Mazi Unamdi Kanu and IPO in general? Unamdi Kanu has been in their detention for a few months now. They should have known what to do even before bringing it up in the court for his trial. Both the federal government and the chief eye judge were confused. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. The chief eye judge had no other choice than to adjourn on Namdi Kano's trial till November 2021. So there are some few questions I'd like to ask my listeners. If Buhari did not negotiate with Unamdi Kano when there was no evidence against him, is it now that there is overwhelming evidence that he will negotiate? Is it now that there is evidence that Buhari will negotiate? Buhari, who did not negotiate with Unamdi Kano when there was no evidence about Unamdi Kano and hype up in general? whereby they were doing their things underground. But now that there are a lot of evidences, the atrocities, the killings, the destruction of properties, both public and private, burning down of properties, the whole evidence will Burari negotiate. Two, is Burari contesting another election that he needs kind of support to win the Southeast? Hmm. Is Unam de Kano? Is it the one that will determine the election of President Muhammad Dubari since he is not contesting for another election? Did he, do, do he need the support of Kano to win? So, meaning he can put Kano in the detention for so long since he is not contesting another election. Please don't forget to put down your comments in the comment box. Thinking, with the killing and destruction of Igbo land, stop oil exports and borrowing, the killings, the destructions, the atrocities, the burning down of properties that is happening in the Igbo land, in the southeast generally, will it stop the Igbo people from oil exports and borrowing? 4. If I pub kills all the Igbos in the Igbo land. Would that make Buari hungry? Killings have been going on in the southeast. 
killing of the Igbo citizens, both the ones that are that knows about the atrocities and those that are clean. The killings have they have killed a lot of people in the Igbo land. But despite all these killings, will that make Buari angry? Will that make him say will that make Buari negotiate with IPOB? Will that make him say that IPOB should have their states? They should leave Nigeria. Is that possible? Five, does APC need Kano to win the Southeast? I think APC will benefit from keeping Kano in detention till 2023. This will then make Igbo land totally politically irrelevant. By then, Hypop will be enforcing that the no election in Biafra land, so only few votes are needed to win the Southeast. The only thing that can make the APC win is them deten- detaining Kanu to 2023, the presidential election. By then, the IPO people will still be agitating and will be enforced that no election in Biafra land and only few will vote in the Southeast. Already, they have ensured that the chances of any Igbo candidate have been ruined from the East. Talk more of other regions. So what's the worst case scenario? Please do well to answer these five questions correctly in the, co- in the comment section. The first question again, if Burabe did not negotiate with Unam Dekanu when there was no evidence against him, is it now that there is overwhelming evidence that he will negotiate? Two. Is Buari contesting another election that he needs Kano's support to win the Southeast? 3. Will the killing and destruction of Igbo land stop oil export and borrowing? 4. If IPOP kills all the Igbos in Igbo land, will that make Buari angry? 5. Does APC need Kano to win Southeast? Mr. Buari will focus the insecurity and f- the insecurity fight in the north and allow IPOP continue killing and destroying Igbo land. They keep bombing the north so that when it's time to burn the southeast, nobody will accuse government of being hard on the east. So Buari will allow Kanu and Ipob do 70% of the killing and destruction of Igbo land. Then it brings in the jets, bomb the remaining 30%. So whether Ipob kills all Igbo land in Igbo land, or the military is sent to kill Igbos in Igbo land. It is a win-win situation for Buari. Please, my listeners, do well to put your comment in the comment box. And don't forget to click on the subscribe, be- subscribe bell. And also, don't forget to click on the bell for more notifications. Till I come your part next time, remain blessed and enjoy the rest of your day.